I'd also like, the city is blessed with a number of parks, a large number of parks for the city's size, a well-planned layout of parks for the city of this size. But I think we have a lot of green areas, green grass areas that we might want to look to repurposing. So I've invited <clears throat> city staff to look at, our, take an inventory of the parks that might meet some of these qualifications or some of the other ideas that, that they may have. Perhaps we have, have some of these, a couple of these smaller park areas that become community gardens for the neighbors in that area. Perhaps we have opportunities to have single run pet training situations there so that in other parks they, they don't have to go to the dog park that's, by the way, always crowded. And another idea, uh, I forgot, I didn't forget. Another idea is we've got great special needs equipment at Pavillon Park. Now we're not gonna have larger parks accommodate those things throughout the city, but what about in the smaller parks around some of the areas where those kinds of special needs uh, playgrounds equipment could be available on a smaller scale for the wonderful kids uh, of special needs and, and uh, let them enjoy uh, the playground experience. You know, these concepts are based on the overwhelming success of our dog park, playground area at Pavillon Park, and a, a community's culture comes through time when neighbors spend together working and enjoying common, commonality. My next goal may be the toughest, and that deals with parking in the city. The first uh, community that, that I began campaigning in uh, is right there between Saddleback College and um, uh, the high school there, Capo High School. And I didn't hear it from one person, I heard it from every person. Matter of fact, as they found out I was walking the precinct, they gathered everybody together to come and tell me en masse exactly what they were, their problems were with parking with the high school students and the college students. And the council worked well together over the first year or two and, and was able to manage that situation. But there's got to be better ways to do that. There's got to be better ways to manage the parking conditions that we have where apartments and condominiums abut single-family homes. And all of the streets on the single-family homes are being used for overflow parking for the apartments and for the condominiums. There needs to be places in our industrial areas, uh, the south end of the city with the car dealerships, and the north end of the city on Via Fabricante, where you have people parking every which way. I know for a fact that there are auto part repair places that are getting there early in the morning and taking their cars that they don't have room to work on, putting them out on the streets and taking up parking spaces from all the other businesses along there because there's nowhere to park. So my father, who was much smarter than I, and even to this day is much smarter than I, Used to, used to teach us that leaders bring together subject matter experts, subject matter experts, and listen and look and seek new ideas and new concepts. And so I look forward to, to unearthing these solutions and cobbling together a team that can look at these things and come up with some creative ideas. We've done a lot of creative things in the city and I look forward to doing more. So I'll become the chairman of the Orange County Fire Authority, or the directors, and I will make sure that Station 9 next to the mall gets rebuilt and, uh, and refitted, and I have to thank Council Member Kelly, who started that ball rolling a number of years ago, uh, six years ago, and so luckily I'm the one who gets to take the credit for it. But thank you, Trish, for doing that. 